and welcome. Today we're going to be exploring Daniel 3 with Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. Uh, It's often referred to as the uh, story of the fiery furnace and we'll come to that a little bit later on. But I'm trusting that by the end of this message today, you will understand that uh, God has got you in the palm of his hand, that he is a God of protection. His, his word says that, uh, God says, if I'm for you, then who can be against you? Nebuchadnezzar was the king of the day, and he was an extremely powerful man. He had built a gold image to himself. It was 90 feet tall, it says, and it was nine feet thick. So that's a significant image. And everyone had been commanded by Nebuchadnezzar that they must bow down before the statue. Well, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego would not bow down before the statue. And so what happened was that some of the fortune tellers of the day, the people who had the king's ear, went to Nebuchadnezzar and said, hey, these guys aren't going to bow down before you. In fact, they've got their own God and they're not going to have anything to do with yours and um, and it's not a good look. We have situations like that in our own lives, don't we? But they can be quite simple things in your workplace or, or amongst friends. We hear of it so often, don't we, with children at school who are being bullied because they don't fit in to the mould that some other person wants them to fit into. And so they bully them and push them around. And it's a very serious issue in schools here in Aotearoa, New Zealand as it is elsewhere in the world. But it's not just confined to schools, is it? We have bullies at work. We have bullies amongst us in society as adults. People who are passively aggressive push us around uh, by words, uh, not just physically. And so I'm trusting that there's a message in here that if God is for you, then they cannot be against you. You have the power, the authority, and the backing of God to stand up against them. So let's pick up the scripture now from verse 13. Furious, King Nebuchadnezzar ordered Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego to be brought in. When the men were brought in, Nebuchadnezzar asked, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, that you don't respect my gods and refuse to worship the gold statue that I have set up? I'm giving you a second chance. But from now on, when the big band strikes up, you must go to your knees and worship the statue I have made. If you don't worship it, you will be pitched into a roaring furnace. No questions asked. Who is the God who can rescue you from my power? Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego answered King Nebuchadnezzar, Your threat means nothing to us. If you throw us in the fire, the God we serve can rescue us from your roaring furnace and anything else you might cook up, O king. But even if he doesn't, it won't make any difference, O king. We still wouldn't serve your gods or worship the gold statue you set up. Nebuchadnezzar, his face purple with anger, cut off Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. He ordered the furnace fired up seven times hotter than usual. He ordered some strong men from the army to tie them up, hands and feet, and throw them into the roaring furnace. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, bound hand and foot, fully dressed from head to toe, were pitched into the roaring fire. Because the king was in such a hurry and the furnace was so hot, flames from the furnace killed the men who carried Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego to it, while the fire raged around Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. Suddenly, King Nebuchadnezzar jumped up in alarm and said, Didn't we throw three men bound hand and foot into the fire? That's right, O king, they said. But look, he said, I see four men walking around, freely in the fire, completely unharmed. And the fourth man looks like a son of the gods. Nebuchadnezzar went to the door of the roaring furnace and called in, Shadrach! Meshach and Abednego, servants of the high God, come out here. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego walked out of the fire. What an amazing part 
uh, of this passage. What's incredible is that uh, Nebuchadnezzar was determined to rid himself of people who were obviously not on his side. But he didn't recognize the power of God. There were four men in that fire. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. And the fourth person could only have been God. Friends, God's with you in the furnace. God's with you in the times of trouble. Sometimes when we're in the middle of adversity, adversity is all we see. But God is with us in all those things. We need to remember here, Nebuchadnezzar is in front of all his leaders, all those who are people of influence. And yet listen to the response. Hear the change of heart in this man simply by the witness of three men who stood up against him and had God stand with them and witness to his power and to his saving grace. Listen to what is said. All of the important people, the government leaders and king's counsellors, gathered round to examine them and discovered that the fire hadn't so much as touched the three men. Not a hair singed, not a scorch mark on their clothes, not even the smell of fire on them. And these three men were able to witness that the power of God was with them. God was indeed for them and protected them no matter what was thrown at them. They just said, God is God and he can protect us. And he's bigger than you are, Nebuchadnezzar. And so what did Nebuchadnezzar say? Listen to this. This is powerful stuff. Nebuchadnezzar said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. He sent his angel and rescued his servants who trusted him. They ignored the king's orders and laid their bodies on the line rather than serve or worship any god but their own. Therefore, I issue this decree. Anyone, anywhere, of any race, colour or creed who says anything against the god of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego will be ripped to pieces, limb from limb, and their houses torn down. There has never been a God who can pull off a rescue like this. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego in the province of Babylon. Friends, God will never leave you or forsake you. God is for you and will protect you when others are against you. This is truth. I will leave you with the passage written by the prophet Isaiah. It is as true for Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego as it was for the people that Isaiah is writing to as it is for you this day. May God speak to you through this passage and may he bless you and keep you and protect you and encourage you and your household. Let's read as we finish. I picked you up. I haven't dropped you. Don't panic. I'm with you. There's no need to fear, for I'm your God. I'll give you strength. I'll help you. I'll hold you steady. Keep a firm grip on you. Count on it. Everyone who had it in for you will end up out in the cold. Real losers. Those who worked against you will end up empty-handed, nothing to show for their lives. When you go out looking for your old adversaries, you won't find them, not a trace of your old enemies, not even a memory. That's right, because I, your God, have a firm grip on you, and I'm not letting go. I'm telling you, don't panic. I'm right here to help you.